Loading data into the KPI online models is the first step in being able to use the dashboard and analytical capabilities. We have created this short video to walk you through how to load data using the spreadsheet templates. After registering and confirming your new KPI online username, you will receive an email with the spreadsheets. If you do not have the email, you can easily retrieve these templates by logging into KPI online and clicking tools in the upper right hand corner and then click download templates. Select the appropriate template and download to your computer. Once downloaded, you will open the spreadsheet. In each template, you will have the worksheet for entering data, and you will also have a help worksheet that will explain how to enter data correctly. Data entered into the templates is based on two categories, dimensions and metrics. In business intelligence terms, a dimension is how you are going to filter or query the data. In this spreadsheet, our dimensions are product category, product, region, sales executive, customer, and invoice. The metrics or key performance indicators are the values that can be summed up. In this spreadsheet, the metrics are sales, cost, and units. In the revenue template, the first column is for product category. Enter the appropriate product category. Next, you have two columns that are directly related to the individual product. Enter the product key that is associated to your product and then enter the product name. Next, you can enter the region to specify the sales region. Next, enter the sales executive name for this item. Columns F and G are for customer information. In column F, enter the customer key, which is directly related to your customer name. Column G is for entering the customer name. Next, enter the invoice number in column H. Next, you have six additional columns that can be used for additional dimensions that you would like to add to the model. In column O, you will enter the date. Enter the date according to the format that you use. Column P is for the amount of the sale, followed by the cost of the sale. Column R stores the number of units sold. And then columns S through U are to be used for adding three additional metrics to the model, if you would like. After entering data in the revenue template, you will need to save the spreadsheet. Once the spreadsheet has been saved, you are ready for the next step in the load process. Before we continue, some additional tips and tricks for entering data in the spreadsheets. It is very important that you do not duplicate a row in the spreadsheet. You do not want two rows to hold the identical information as this may cause errors in your dashboards. Each line item is unique as the revenue pertains to that individual customer, sales executive, and product. Secondly, after loading the initial data, you can remove those line items from the spreadsheet. By deleting the data that has already been loaded, the load process will be faster. Also, when saving the spreadsheets, there is no special name that needs to be given. Feel free to name the spreadsheets however you wish. Once you are ready to load the data, open KPI Online and click on Tools. Next, click on Load Data. You will now need to browse out to the Save Spreadsheet and click Next. Next, you will be prompted to select the appropriate worksheet and then click Next. If you are using multiple companies within KPI Online, you will be prompted for the company information and then click Process Excel File. This will start the upload process. During this process, the data is being encrypted and transmitted via the internet to our secure data center. Once the upload process has finished, you will see the process completed message and then you can upload another Excel file. And that's it. By downloading and entering data into the spreadsheet templates, you can quickly load your data into the KPI online models. For any questions, please feel free to contact us via email at support at KPI online or you can use the live support chat feature located in the upper right hand corner of the dashboards.